ever wondered how to create your own hydroponic nutrient solution at home? Welcome to the fascinating world of hydroponics where soil is replaced by nutrient-rich water and plants thrive in ways you've never imagined. Hydroponics is an innovative method of gardening where soil, the traditional medium for plant growth, is replaced by water enriched with essential nutrients. This remarkable technique allows plants to directly absorb nutrients, leading to faster growth and higher yields compared to conventional soil-based gardening. Now let's talk about the lifeblood of hydroponics, the nutrient solution. This is not just ordinary water, but a carefully crafted mix that provides the plants with all the essential nutrients they need to grow and flourish. The nutrient solution is to hydroponics what fertile soil is to traditional gardening. In nature, plants draw these crucial nutrients from the soil. But in hydroponics, we take on the role of Mother Nature, providing the plants with a tailored diet that caters to their specific needs. This includes a balance of macronutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, as well as micronutrients such as iron, manganese and zinc. If the idea of creating your own hydroponic nutrient solution seems daunting, fear not. It's actually simpler than you might think and the benefits are well worth the effort. By crafting your own solution, you can customize it to suit the specific needs of your plants at different growth stages. This not only maximizes their growth potential, but also allows for a more sustainable and eco-friendly approach to gardening what's more. Making your own nutrient solution can be cost-effective and rewarding. It allows you to take control of what goes into your plants, ensuring they're getting the best possible care. Say goodbye to generic store-bought solutions and embrace the satisfaction of DIY. Ready to dive into the world of DIY hydroponics? Stay tuned. We're about to embark on a journey that will transform the way you garden, starting with understanding the essential plant nutrients. Let's unlock the full potential of your hydroponic garden together. Before we start mixing, let's understand what nutrients our plants need. The key to a successful hydroponic garden lies in the nutrient solution. It's the lifeblood of the plants, providing them with everything they need to grow and thrive. So what exactly are these nutrients? They can be broadly divided into two categories, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are the nutrients that plants require in larger amounts. These include nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, often termed as the NPK ratio. Nitrogen is pivotal for leaf and stem growth. Phosphorus aids in root development and flowering, while potassium is vital for overall plant health and disease resistance. But that's not all. We also have secondary macronutrients, which include calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. Calcium strengthens cell walls. Magnesium is a central component of the chlorophyll molecule, which is essential for photosynthesis. And sulfur aids in the production of amino acids, proteins, and vitamins. Then we have the micronutrients. These are nutrients that plants need in smaller quantities, but are still crucial for plant health. Micronutrients include iron, manganese, zinc, copper, molybdenum, and boron. Each of these plays a unique role in plant growth, from aiding in photosynthesis to assisting in the plant's ability to absorb other nutrients. It's important to note that the necessity of these nutrients can vary depending on the plant species and its stage of growth. For instance, leafy greens might require more nitrogen for leaf development, while fruiting plants might need a higher phosphorus content during their flowering stage. Also remember, balance is key. Too much of one nutrient can lead to deficiencies in others, disrupting the overall health of your plants. In hydroponics, we have the unique opportunity to control and customize these nutrient levels, catering to our plants' specific needs and optimizing their health and productivity. Now that we have a grasp on nutrients, it's time to explore different nutrient solution formulas. Different plants and growth stages require different nutrient formulas. Let's explore this further. Think of each plant as a unique individual with distinct nutritional needs that change as it grows. 
Just as a toddler needs a different diet than a teenager, a seedling has different nutrient requirements than a mature plant. The first step in crafting the perfect nutrient solution is understanding your plant's specific needs. For example, leafy greens like lettuce and spinach thrive on a high nitrogen mix. On the other hand, fruiting plants like tomatoes and peppers require less nitrogen but more phosphorus and potassium, especially during the flowering and fruiting stages. But it's not just about the big three, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. There's also a cast of micronutrients that play vital roles in plant health and growth. Iron, manganese, zinc, copper, molybdenum, and boron, although needed in smaller quantities, are equally crucial. So, how do we adjust nutrient formulas based on these needs? It's all about balance and proportion. Let's consider two examples. First, a nutrient solution for leafy greens might have a high nitrogen to phosphorus to potassium ratio, like 20 parts nitrogen to 10 parts phosphorus to 10 parts potassium. It might also include a small amount of micronutrients like iron and manganese. For fruiting plants, however, you might want to adjust this ratio to 10 parts nitrogen, 15 parts phosphorus and 20 parts potassium. This formula encourages flowering and fruiting while maintaining overall plant health. And don't forget those micronutrients. Remember, these are just starting points. You'll need to monitor your plants and adjust the nutrient solution as needed. If your plants start showing signs of nutrient deficiency or excess, don't be afraid to tweak your formula. With a formula in mind, we can now start creating our nutrient solution. So let's move on to the exciting part. Mixing up your very own hydroponic nutrient solution. Ready to get your hands dirty? Let's dive in. It's time to get hands-on. Gather your ingredients and we'll start mixing. Creating your own hydroponic nutrient solution begins with sourcing the right ingredients. You'll need a base of water-soluble fertilizer, calcium nitrate, and magnesium sulfate. These are commonly found in garden centers or online, and they're the building blocks of our nutrient solution providing essential macronutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Next up, let's talk about micronutrients. These are vital elements that plants need in smaller quantities. For these, you'll need a chelated micronutrient mix, which is also readily available online or in garden centers. It's a blend of key elements like iron, manganese, zinc, copper, molybdenum, and boron. Now, Let's get to the mixing process. Start by filling a 5-gallon bucket halfway with warm water. Dissolve your water-soluble fertilizer first. Stir until it's completely dissolved, then add the calcium nitrate. Stir again. Finally, add the magnesium sulfate and the chelated micronutrient mix. Stir one last time until everything is completely dissolved. Remember, it's crucial to add these ingredients in the correct order to prevent any unwanted reactions. The warm water helps to dissolve the ingredients and ensures a smooth, homogeneous solution. After the nutrient solution is mixed, you'll want to check the pH. The ideal pH range for most hydroponic systems is between 5.5 and 6.5. If necessary, use pH adjusters to bring the solution to the desired range. Now, here's a pro tip. Always make a fresh batch of nutrient solution every two weeks to ensure your plants are getting the freshest, most potent nutrients. This will help to maximize their growth potential. One last thing to keep in mind, each plant species has different nutrient requirements and these can change as the plant grows. Therefore, it's essential to customize your nutrient solution according to your plant's needs. Great job, but we're not done yet. Next we'll learn how to maintain our nutrient solution. Maintaining the right pH and nutrient balance is crucial. Let's learn how to do this. The first step in maintaining your nutrient solution is to monitor the pH level. This is vital because plants absorb nutrients best when the pH of the solution is just right. Too high or too low, and your plants may struggle to get the nutrients they need. Generally, most plants prefer a pH level between 5.5 and 6.5. You can use a pH meter to check the level and adjust it using pH up 
or down solutions. Now, let's talk about maintaining the nutrient balance. This is equally important because an imbalance can lead to nutrient lockout, where the plant is unable to absorb certain nutrients. To avoid this, you need to keep an eye on the electrical conductivity, or EC, of your solution. The EC gives you an idea of the total amount of nutrients present. You can use an EC meter to measure this. When it comes to adjusting the nutrient balance, always remember to add nutrients in small increments. It's easier to add more than to take away. If you find that your nutrient solution is too strong, you can dilute it with water. If it's too weak, you can add more nutrients. Keeping your nutrient solution well balanced is not a one-time task. It's ongoing. Monitor your plants for any signs of nutrient deficiency or excess. Are the leaves yellowing? Are they wilting? These could be signs that your nutrient solution needs adjusting. And don't forget, different plants have different nutrient needs at various stages of growth. So, tailor your nutrient solution to meet these needs. This may mean changing the nutrient formula as your plant matures. Finally, always remember to keep your nutrient solution aerated. This helps to ensure that your plants get the oxygen they need for healthy root development. Congratulations on creating your first nutrient solution. Remember, practice makes perfect. Share your experience.